Hi, my name is Vince Mai, and I'd like to introduce you to my new ant colonies. I got them over Christmas, and they are both Campanotus, meaning carpenter ants. And uh, what I'd like to do is film them. This particular colony you're looking at is the Campanotus herculaneus. They're on the bottom, and the top ones are the Campanotus novaboracensis, also known as the New York carpenter ant. It's got a lot of condensation in there, and they're both in hibernation, so I just check on them once in a while. Because of the condensation, I decided to move the New York carpenter ants to a larger setup. And so what you do is you make one side bright, one side darker, and they like to move to the, the darkness. And there the queen goes, and now they're in their new setup. And then the Nidic, which is the first baby ants, are there checking things out. Okay, here's an Anitic feeding on honey sugar water. Now watch her gaster, which is her bum, slowly fill up. And basically what she's doing is filling up her social stomach. It's a, it's a second stomach that she can actually share liquid food with other ants. And she's doing that with the queen right now. All that yummy sugary liquid going in there. And the queen, she's like still in that position. I don't know why, but you can see the droplet of the honey water on her mouth parts. All right, let's take a look at the new formicarium that I will be moving them to. This is the outworld. So it's got a plastic plant there, and but uh, it's got lots of sand that's sort of hard coated on there. On the right side is the actual formicarium where the ants will live and the brood that they produce will grow. And the outworld is where the food is and they'll go and collect it and probably bring it back to the formicarium. All right, this is the Campanotus herculaneus. And it's a much larger colony, and you'll notice that big pile of yellow stuff, that's larva, which is dormant because they're in hibernation right now. When I bring them out and warm them up in the springtime, uh, they will experience a big growth spurt. And then uh, these workers, which are also ninetics, you know, the first generation, they're very small. They will actually have to go and forage and bring back uh, hopefully high protein food for the larva to eat and therefore develop. So, as I said before, they're still kind of sleepy because I just bring them up to check on them once every week or two. But they do stand guard over the larva. And there's the queen, Herculaneus. She's a real beauty. And uh, I notice a big difference between the two carpenter ants species. This one uh, has more hair on her gaster and more of a rough uh, look to it. The other one, the New York carpenter ant, has a much shinier gaster. But they're both beautiful if you ask me. And fascinating creatures. I highly recommend keeping ants. I'm really enjoying it. Please subscribe and we'll see you next time.